Alright, what's up guys? This is Ninja Deathstrike bringing you another Pokemon TCGO battle and uh, redoing this narration. I did it a couple days ago, but I really wasn't happy with it. I've been kind of sick, so my voice was weird and felt like I rambled a lot. So I'm going to go back and redo it. But anyhow, uh, I have a new deck to show off today, one that I've really been, enjoy been enjoying playing with. Uh, I guess the last week and a half or so uh, features the Fire Chandelure from Next Destinies along with support from Ninetales and that's really it. Uh, that's the only attacker in the deck but the idea is to just draw through your whole deck as fast as possible with Ninetales and then uh, spread damage with Chandelure. And as I've mentioned before, Chandelure is one of my favorite 5th gen Pokemon, so definitely wanted to try this deck out when I saw it on uh, 6 Prizes a while ago. And I've been really surprised at how well it does, uh, especially for having a main attacker as a stage 2. Um, it can hang in there. It's not as good as like Zeals or CMT or anything like that, but definitely a solid deck. And uh, my opponent this time is Matthew69. He's pretty active on the forums, so anyone who uh, is involved on the forums might be familiar with him. He has a thread where he posts all kinds of different deck ideas, uh, mostly rogue decks, so some work better than others, but he's always trying out new things, which is definitely good for the game. So uh, glad I got to be able to record a match with him. He's running kind of... a uh, it's kind of like six corners with Vile Plume to protect against Lost Remover, and uh, interesting concept. It's actually going to give my deck a lot of trouble because my uh, deck relies on picking off weak energy accelerators from the bench and kind of crippling your opponent that way, and since this deck doesn't have any energy accelerators, it's just a bunch of giant basics, um, that's not good for me. Uh, the, the deck I'm running is very anti-metagame. It's kind of designed just to really give a hard time to Zeals and CMT and beyond that, um, it's it kind of struggles. I mean, it's not bad, but those are the two matchups that it's kind of designed to, to win or have a good shot in, and some more rogue decks just can't... Uh, it can't really do what it needs to do against those decks, so... Anyhow, uh, we're both starting to get set up here. I see he gets just that single Oddish and puts it down. Um, that's always a big risk if you can only bench one Oddish at a time. Normally, you want to try to put two down at the same time because uh, they will get catchered and killed. But luckily for him, I don't have a catcher or any way to kill it. Even if I did have a catcher, it would be... Okay, because Oddish is actually weak to Psychic rather than Fire, so I wouldn't be able to one-hit KO it. And um, I s am looking for a rare candy here with the Roast Reveal. I'm lucky enough to get a turn two Ninetales up. That's really good. Uh, normally, you want to go for your Ninetales first and then try to Roast Reveal into your Chandelure. Unfortunately, I can't quite hit the... Uh, all the pieces I need, I missed the candy, so I'm going to have to evolve manual here with my Lampent, but that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Um, I opted to go for the Psychic, Lampent, and Litwick here, obviously. I think they're better than the Fire ones. They have really uh, helpful roles as you set up the first few turns, and Luring Light is really going to pay off here. I'm able to uh, drag out that big fat Terrakion, stick him in the active spot, and... I kind of assumed here that since he's running Vileplume, he wouldn't have a switch. Uh, most Vileplume decks only run Pcom and Rare Candy because after that, it's really just kind of dead weight if you have more trainers. But he shows me here that he does actually have a switch, which is a little odd for this deck. It helped him here, but overall, I'm not sure how I feel about having switched in a Vileplume deck since you're really gunning for that turn two vile plume and if you don't get that up um the rest of the time or if you get that up the rest of the time it's kind of just going to be dead weight but uh whatever his choice so um i get a junk arm here i look at my 
discard pile to see if there's anything I want to junk arm for, but right now I don't really feel I need to. So I also get that catcher. Gonna dra drag Taraki on back up again. And here we go. Now I've got a Chandelure in hand, so we're looking good. And maybe I am gonna junk arm possibly for a level wall so I can get another Litwick. Um, hmm. I don't think that's a very good idea. I just got rid of two supporters for a level ball. Chances are I probably would have found a way to get a Litwick next turn. So, uh, small misplay for me, I think. Um, I don't, yeah. Discarding two supporters is usually not a good idea, even if your hand's flooded with them. But I guess I just didn't want to miss an energy drop this turn out of habit. So, I'm going to go for the flame burst here, and you'll see. I'm actually not going to hit Cleffa this turn. The reason I uh, didn't hit Cleffa this turn is because one, it's a free prize that I can take whenever I want, and two, since he's running Oddish, I just kind of assume he's running Twins. Almost all Oddish decks also have Twins, so that once something gets taken out, they can uh, Twins into a Vile Plume and uh, initiate the trainer lock as fast as possible. So had I taken out the Cleffa there, uh, I would have given him the option to play Twins if he had it, and I didn't want to do that. So here, I think I'm going to go for the N. Yeah, he's got a pretty big hand. I don't, so N definitely going to help me out and maybe mess him up too. Really looking for fire energy here. Uh, what I need the first few turns is just to roast reveal as many times as possible and set up as fast as possible, especially since, like I said, I'm using a stage two attacker. But I uh, whiff the energy here. That's actually uh, kind of going to slow me down a little bit these next couple of turns. I just cannot seem to hit an energy for the life of me. And luckily, that Terrakion, you know, is stuck out there. He's not going anywhere anytime soon. So it is going to buy me a few turns, but. I would really like to be able to get my deck moving with the Ninetales engine here. So I Flame Burst again. Now I'm going to take out the Cleffa just because I feel like I'm set up enough that there's really no point not to go on the offensive. And I was going to take out the Oddish anyhow. So if he had uh, Twins, he'd, he'd still be able to use it even if I didn't hit the Cleffa. So I might as well take it out now. Take out his Free Retreater. And uh, yeah, I'm looking pretty good, other than not having any energy. Uh, I've got two more Chandelures coming down next turn. There's zero threat of a Vile Plume now, because I take took out his only Oddish. Um, so it would be at least two turns before he'd be able to get another one in play. That is going to give me enough time to use that rare candy in my hand, get up my next Chandelure, and then I'll have three, which is really great. Um, really good start plus I have the rescue energy so I'll be able to get the other one in next as well the only thing I need is a fire energy so what I'm gonna do here is promote the lampent um, just in case I didn't draw fire energy I would at least be able to use luring light to get him down there but I do top deck the fire energy which is very nice uh, very tempted to roast reveal with it here since I would probably draw into another one especially after I shuffle those uh, others back in with my uh, super rod but I can't remember if I take the risk or if I just attach to be sure to have an attacker um, I have there that the one Victini basically just to allow me to hit for some big damage if I need to uh, it's really nice against things like Zekrom, who uh, has to use a Bolt Strike to take you out and hurt himself, and then Victini can come in and get the Revenge Kill, assuming it doesn't have any Violite. So uh, it also helps against Durant somewhat, so that's why he's in there. Um, the article on Six Prizes suggested using Experience Share to help power him up. That's not a bad idea, but I ended up cutting it for... Um, I think another junk arm or another catcher. I can't remember. This list is really tight, obviously, since you're using a stage two attacker. Uh, that takes up a huge chunk of your deck, and there's just not that much room for trainers and things. So I think I ended up cutting the uh, 
the experience share. But anyhow, I'm going to junk arm for a catcher here. Um, and I guess drag up Tornadus or Shandl uh Kabaleon. Looks like I'm going to go for Kabaleon. I'm not really sure why I chose to do this. I remember what I'm going to do here, and I, I don't think it's the right play. I could have gone for Inferno and taken him out here. Uh, and that would have taken out that energy. I wouldn't have had to deal with Kabaleon. Um, but instead I go for the Flame Burst, and there really wasn't any point in doing that. It's not going to kill Kabaleon. I would have been better off just leaving Terrakion in if I was going to Flame Burst, so I don't really know what I was thinking there. Definitely should have either catchered in Kabaleon to kill it, or just left Terrakion where he was and Flame Bursted that way. And now uh, he plays a Seeker, so he's going to get to pick the Terrakion up, and that's not going to help me. <laughs> because I'm only doing 30 damage at a time, and Terrakion has a ton of HP, so that is basically wiped clean. I'm going to have to start all over again with him, which is really not good for this deck. As I mentioned before, it really struggles to take down these big basics. Uh, what it aims to do is take out the energy accelerators behind them, and you know then you really only have to deal with one or two before they just run out of steam. But... Uh, he didn't put the Terrakion back down, which I think was definitely a misplay. It, especially, you can see here, I had the end, so you know now it and all the energy he had is gone. He's going to have to start over, and I go for the energy retrieval here, but I forgot that I had super rotted all that energy back in before, so I'm actually going to undo that roast reveal twice so that I get two energy in the discard, and then I can use energy retrieval if I need it, but actually draw into another fire energy, so I won't need to use it then. And uh, since I got Iron Breaker last turn, I have no choice but to hard retreat here, send up my other Chandelure, who will be able to take out Kabaleon. And... Okay, I guess I am going to play the Retrieval. I have two, so I guess I figured if I get End here, I'd like to have some Fire Energy in my deck as well as in the discard pile. And I also got that Burn Tower. That's a, a really nice tech in this deck. Uh, helps you out and also obviously discards Sky Arrow if it's in play. So that's really helpful. Um, but yeah, Kabalion's down. Terrakion got shuffled back in, so now he's uh, only got a Lone Tornadus. And a uh, pretty bad situation. He has no energy on board either. He does get the Collector, which is great for him. If he hadn't done that, I would have won the next turn. I could have just used Inferno to finish off this Tornadus. But instead, he gets a Collector, so that's going to let him get something going. At least get some basics down on the bench so he can survive for a little bit longer. And he's actually going to opt not to get any Oddishes here which is probably the right play. At this point, I'm already basically set up. Uh, I guess it would prevent me from maybe getting another Chandelure. I don't know, but the Oddish is obviously, if he puts them down and then I can't, he can't evolve them, they're going to die to uh, two Flame Bursts, so he would only have two turns to get them evolved. Um, so instead, he just grabs two Kyurem's and a Regigigas EX. He told me he does have Kyurem EX, but it was prized, which definitely sucks for him. Uh, Kyurem EX completely wipes the floor with this deck. Uh, he doesn't even need to use Hail Blizzard. Frozen Wings takes out everything in my deck in one hit. So, yeah, that would have been bad. Luckily... Uh, it would have taken him a couple of turns to power it up at least, so maybe I could have dealt with it, but it wouldn't have been easy. But uh, since he's just stuck with regular Kyurem, he just benches one, doesn't put down the Gigas or the other one, which uh, is a really smart play, obviously. That's going to limit the amount of damage I'm going to be able to do with Flame Burst, since um, there's not anything to spread to. There's only the one Kyurem, so... I'm roast revealing here, I'm looking for my Lampent, I assume, yeah, or another Chandelure so that I can get the candy going. Uh, 
Going to go ahead and play the Rick Handy while I can, just in case Vileplume decides to show up to the party way late. I'd rather still have the items out of my hand than the Lampent, so that's why I went that route. But missed the Burn Tower, not a big deal. I've got plenty of energy and basically everything I could possibly want in my hand right now. Uh, that's the wonders of using Ninetales. Um, you just have a huge hand all the time. And that's another reason I play so many N in this deck, other than the fact that N is just an amazing card in the format right now. It lets me draw through basically my entire deck, and then I can play an N, shuffle all that stuff back in there, and keep myself from decking out. So, um, sorry if I sound a little bit nasally. I, uh, like I said, I've been sick, have a pretty bad cold, but... I wanted to get this recorded so I could get something out to you guys uh, for the beginning of this week. So anyhow, he's going to put another energy on Kiram, and then I believe just pass. And uh, that means Kiram is going to have 60 damage on it. If I Flame Burst again, uh, that'll be enough to take him out with an Inferno later. I guess he's thinking about... Benching something else, maybe? I'm not sure exactly what's going on here, but yeah. So I'm going to attach the uh, second fire energy to Chandelure, and then I actually use the catcher to bring up the Curum, and I'm going to hit it with an Inferno. That's going to put it at 120, and it would have been able to outrage kill me regardless, so by putting all the damage on it, and now there's actually a chance that if he flips tails uh, on the burn, he would just die immediately and he wouldn't get to attack me and all of his energy would have been gone again. He flips heads though, so that does mean this Chandelure is going to get knocked out. Uh, that was kind of inevitable though. It was going to happen next turn one way or the other, so I figured I may as well go ahead and attempt to go for the KO before he gets a chance to attack. And next turn, even if he survives the burn flip here, I can take him out with a Flame Burst and that'll also kill the Tornadus. But... He plays Shaman down here. He's going to Shaman his energy off of this Kyurem onto the next one, which means he's not going to be able to attack this turn. So it's actually going to let that active Chandelure survive for another turn. And then uh, I can just attach another Fire Energy and Flame Burst again and put the damage on Kyurem. And uh, that's going to put him right back into the same boat he was in here. So... He's really just bought him another turn, but it gave me another prize, so uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Maybe if he had a DCE, I could see uh, moving that energy and then attaching the DCE to the current Kyurem and taking the Outrage kill that way. That might be what he's going for here, but I don't think he gets it, so he's going to just have to end up uh, attaching to the bench and then passing I do get N down to 3 here, but again, thanks to Ninetales, uh, N is really not a big deal with this deck, uh, especially if you have Burn Tower in play. As long as you can hit one Fire Energy, normally you can recover your hands pretty quickly. So you see here, I take out the Curum with the Burn, so that lets me draw a prize. I've now got 2 Fire Energy. That means I could have up to an 8 card hand again if I need it. Uh, yeah, so the end really didn't hurt me that much, and I am looking pretty good. So uh, the other Kyurem comes in now. Um, I've got several options. I can go for the Flame Burst. That will set up a... It'll take out the Tornadus and also set up Shaman for a KO, or I could go for the Inferno. And, oh, I guess I can. I didn't promote the... Chandelure with two energy on it, just the one. Um, that's right, I, I promoted the undamaged one because even after a flame burst, uh, Kyurem can only outrage me for a hundred. So he won't be able to take a prize unless he has a plus power. So that's why I decided to go with that one. And then I could just flame burst the Tornadus to get my prize for the turn. So now, next turn, uh, he has a bit of a decision. He can go for a glaciate and try to spread or he can go for the outrage and almost kill this 
active Chandelure, but he actually is not going to be able to take a prize without a plus power. And then next turn, you know, I can either Flame Burst again to set up Shaman for the kill, or I can go for the Inferno and put him in the exact same situation he was in last time, where as soon as he flips the tails, he is going to lose. So I'm going to opt to go that route just because, uh, you know, burning him, even if he flips the heads, it's going to be every turn he's got to flip to survive and you know if he's forced to retreat that is fine with me uh that gets rid of his energy in a deck that doesn't have any energy acceleration so that is what i'm gonna do i think don't know why i okay yeah so that's what i do uh now he's at 120 and then he flips tails so that is gonna do it gonna let me take my last prize and that is going to be the game so leave me a comment if you liked it let me know what you thought of the deck i really like this deck um been kind of bored with playing cmt and zeals over and over again so this has definitely been a deck i've had a lot of fun playing this last week and uh I will probably have at least one more video featuring it uh, coming up in the near future. So comment, rate, sub, all that good stuff. And stay tuned, guys. I will have more coming your way shortly. Thanks.